Oh, look at that face. This is the face that doesn't want me to work. It's the final crochet project of 2023. Okay, so this one, we're gonna go a little easy. We're gonna make some pillowcases. Hopefully it's easy. Every time I say something, it's easy, it never is. I put a poll on my Instagram asking y'all if you wanted to see me make some pillowcases, crochet some pillowcases, or sew a jacket from Thrifted Fabric, and y'all voted for the pillowcases. So we're gonna do that. No matter how much I try to push the sewing content on y'all, y'all don't want it. Y'all just wanna see me crochet and that's fine. You're missing out. There's some really good fabric over there that I will be making into a coat and I may or may not make a video about it. We'll see. Maybe I'll just do a vlog for my Patreon. Now that I mentioned it, I do have a new tier on my Patreon. It is a $2 tier and that's where I'm gonna put random vlogs that aren't long enough really to be a YouTube video. I'm just gonna put them on my Patreon. Like I can put it together like a five minute vlog and just throw it on Patreon and I love that idea. But if y'all are already a member of my Patreon, the $5 one for all the patterns, you'll also be getting those vlogs too, back to this video. Anyways, I rambled on to get to the Patreon because I might do a vlog on the jacket for Patreon. Pillowcases. I don't know if I wanna go with the granny stitch. These are decorative pillowcases. I mean, I guess you could sleep on them too, but they're more for like a couch or something. Anyway, the colors. I went to Michael's and I I bought these colors here. They are all different shades of teal and I think they are so pretty together. And what's so funny is when I was in the store, these two colors looked really identical and I'm like, should I buy like this one here? It looks too close, but now seeing it in different lighting and in the camera, all three of them look completely different. Thank goodness. They are all loops and threads. Cause I, I, I have to say loops and threads, they have the best the best color choices. They are a medium four weight yarn. I'm gonna be using a five millimeter crochet hook. This one is called Sea Green. This one is called Aqua. And this one is called Teal, just Teal. And I just really like these colors together. So what I'm hoping to do is like, do like a pattern where it's just like one color, then the next color, and then the next color, and just kind of like repeating. So we're just gonna see how that turns out. I'm very excited to see how that's going to look. I have never, have I made, okay, I've made pillowcases where I've like encased the pillow in it where the pillow can never come out again. There's this one over here that usually I put on the chair I'm sitting for Pippin to sit on. It's it's this one. I've made that one, but I've never made just like a pillowcase that you can like take the pillow out and put it back in. Don't know how big I'm gonna make them yet. I, I want them to be a good size, but I don't want them to be oversized. I want it to be more of like just a decorative Hello. We're just gonna see how that goes and hopefully everything turns out okay. I've decided that I'm gonna go and do a granny stitch for these pillows. It's basic, I know it's simple, but I actually have like a deadline that's uh, fast approaching and I kinda need to get it done. And I just wanted to do a stitch that looks nice, but is also very quick to do and that I don't really have to learn anything new. Also, I feel with this type of pillow that I am making, I want it to feel kind of vintage, retro. I want it to feel, I don't know, crochet. Even though everything I do is crochet and everything feels crochet, I just want the more retro crochet vibe and what better stitch than the granny stitch. I'm gonna be making four granny squares. Now, here's the only thing I'm thinking. I'm kind of thinking I want these pillows to be not so much reversible, but like double-sided. One side, the granny stitch, right? But maybe for the second side, maybe try a different stitch out or maybe do a different pattern. Then that way the pillow could be one way and then you can flip it and the pillow can be the other way. So we're just gonna stick with the simple granny stitch first, get those two sides done and then come back to the idea of maybe doing something different for the second side. I'm also making two pillows, two pillowcases. If I didn't already say it, sometimes I forget what I say when I say it, but anyways, I'm making two. That's why I'm thinking they can be propped up one way and then they can be flipped and they'll look different. We're just gonna do the traditional granny stitch, granny square first, get that done, and then play around with the idea for maybe the second side. If I can't think of anything, then we'll just stick with the granny stitch, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Totoro um, has decided that right now she wants attention. Right when I'm working on a project, this is when Totoro wants her attention. Oh, she's just so pretty. Look at that face. Look at that face. This is how far I've gotten. I'm actually using this pillow here as a guide because I really like the size of this. And so I was kind of hoping like that would be the last row. I don't know. I feel like that's a very small pillow. Again, these are more like decorative pillows. They don't need to be super big, but I would like them to be like a good size. I think one more row of each color and then that will be the template. All right, so this 
actually is the perfect size and it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It is 15 rows, which is one, two, three, four, five, five rows of each color. I think it's the perfect size. What I'm gonna do tonight is I'm going to make another one like this shape. And then tomorrow we'll get back into the idea of do I want to do something different for the other side or do I just want to stick with the granny stitch? That'll be tomorrow. So today I am going to be working on the second square and yeah. I got two sides done and now I'm contemplating what I want to do for the next one because again my idea is to have two pillows front and a front and then the backs be a different pattern so you can have it one side one day then you can flip it over and have a different pattern the next day so I just need to figure out what pattern I want to do so I'm gonna do a little bit of research figure out what I want it can't believe it can't really be too complicated because I kind of got to get it done sooner than later. That's where I am right now. Let me do a little bit of research and then I'll come back and let y'all know what I've decided. Okay, so here's the thing. I kind of dabbled with the few ideas that I like, but I'm not like 100% confident in me doing it for somebody else first. I kind of like the idea of if it's like a new pattern or a new design that I haven't done yet, I want to rather, I would rather do it for myself so I can learn, like take my time with it. Whereas this project is actually like, since it's for someone else, I kind of have a, a deadline. Like I need to get it done in the next two days and there's something else I also have to make. I think what I'm gonna do, and I know I'm playing it safe, but also again, because it's not for me, I don't want to go extreme if they don't like it, right? I'm gonna do, still the granny stitch and the granny square but instead of doing it like every other row is a different color i think i'm gonna do like two rows are a color two more rows are a color two more rows are a color so it's more of a striped pillow but i just have to figure out the math because so say if i do like light blue medium blue dark blue light blue medium blue dark blue end with light blue and then do a border in the dark blue or i do like a big square in the middle and say like do this whole square is like light blue then that'd be medium dark light medium dark it still ends up that way don't want to do three i want to do two lines so i think what i'm going to do start off or maybe i could start off with a dark blue dark blue medium light dark medium light and then like three rows of dark at the end i think that's the best bet i think i'm gonna do that because it's a little bit different so it's not like the same pattern all right let's let's get let's let's do the let's let let's finish this thing got to about here when i realized i did the order wrong okay so if you're looking at this it goes light blue medium blue dark blue aqua whatever you want to call it and i wanted to do the same where it went dark blue like you see i wanted it to go dark blue light blue medium and i accidentally went dark blue medium light blue when it should have been dark blue light blue medium i'm not taking it apart this is how it's gonna be now i mean it looks fine because when you think about it it just goes in the opposite direction so if if you're looking at it going this way then i did it right so we're gonna say it's fine and we're gonna roll with it totoro has oh yeah you just want so much attention don't you i'm sorry totoro oh look at that face this is the face that doesn't want me to work this is the difference. You can kind of see the difference. I really like it because it's the same, but it's different. <laughs> I thought that these sides were gonna look way too similar. That's why I'm like, oh, I gotta like do something different. I thought that just doing like two rows was gonna be like, oh, it's it's gonna look the same. But like looking at it, they look very different, very different. And that's like the great thing about the granny stitch is that like if you just do something a little different, it's gonna look different. And I definitely think it, it looks 
much different. Like the two look very different. So what's going to end up happening is that these two are going to be put together. So then that way there's two sides of them and that you can have it this way one day. You can have it this way the next. You could have one this way. You can have the other one this way. I just think it looks really cute like this. And I think it's a really good idea. I was going to start doing this one, but I'm kind of tired and it's 930 at night. Think that if I go to bed early today, which is before midnight for me, and I wake up at like 830 in the morning, I think I can get it done. I could just keep going and going and going. But when I get like a little bit tired, I stop paying attention and I make mistakes such as there's a little, little mistake over here. That's fine. I kind of fixed it. If you don't, if I didn't tell you, I mean, it doesn't really look like it's even there. I'd rather just not make mistakes and not have to take things apart. The next day. I ran out of blue. Well, the, the teal color. So I bought some more and I think they're the same color. Good. Now I did buy two more skeins of yarn for these two colors too, but I don't think I'm going to need them because I only have like two more rows with this color two more rows of this color but this one I have five more rows so I definitely need more it's also my connecting color it's the color that I'm going to be connecting them all together I got all four pieces done but unfortunately I did not get them done in time for this video to be done when I wanted it to be done but it's fine that's on me I am not great with time management okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to weave in all the ends before I have to attach them and then to make sure that I attach them to the right pieces I am just going to put the two pieces together. Those two pieces, and then we got those two pieces. What I'm going to do is, of course, attach them in a big square. But when I get to the bottom, which was originally this, but I don't think I'm going to make this the bottom anymore. I think I might make this the sides. That way this doesn't hang out. But anyways, when I get to the bottom of the pillowcase, I think I'm going to sew like this far, leave an opening, and then sew it here. I think that's going to work best for me. I can't think of another way to like put a clip or put Velcro. I just don't think that's going to work well. So I think I'm just going to leave a little opening so the pillow can go in and the pillow can come out, weaving in the ends and then sewing the pieces together. I wanna make sure that this, like the line and this line line up because I want them to be the side. Originally, I would like it to be the bottom, but here's, here's the reason why. And so then that way, all of this stuff isn't really shown and it's going to be hidden in the pillowcase itself. So again, this is one side. This is the other side. I like doing the mattress stitch, which I've mentioned in a video and I think I showed how to do it. I don't remember which one it was, but it was one of them. I think it was the birthday sweater. I showed how to do that. And because I still had a little bit of this blue left over, I ended up just starting a new ball for one of the ends. I'm actually going to use this to sew it together. Also, this is my little pin pin bag a little pippin but i guess i need to get a totoro one because totoro is usually in here with me now i don't know what happened there totoro was an outdoor cat this little baby was an outdoor cat for many many years didn't want to come inside when i mean didn't want to come inside you could not force her to come inside and she would run outside and then wouldn't let you pat her for a few days because she was that angry yes you were that angry but now Look at her. She's like in every one of my videos because she just loves being up here. So now she lets me pat her. She's in the house more. She just loves being outside. You do love being outside, but now she's a an indoor princess. Yes, you are an indoor princess. So I'm using my clamps to do all four corners. This is what I'm gonna say is the bottom now. I got them done. I got them done. They took me so much longer than I thought. Like attaching them took me so much longer than I had even anticipated. So that was, that was fun. The two different patterns that I was going for. I think these look so cute. At one point I'm looking at them like, I don't think they're teal. I think they're blue. Oh my goodness. Did I buy blue yarn? And then I like took a little break because I had to work on something else and I was using blue yarn. I'm like, no, these are very much teal. It's just when you're constantly looking at 
got something you're like, is this what I think it is? Two years ago, I think if y'all remember, I had made a crochet hot dog and the hot dog was like this. And at one point I'm like, is this even a hot dog anymore? Yeah, th that happens to me. It also happened when I made the hamburger. Cause I'm like, I don't know if this is a hamburger. But anyways, when you take a step back and then you look at it again, you're like, okay, I'm going in the right direction. And that was me with these colors. Because to me, they're very blue. But then once I put them next to something that is actually blue, they are so green. I know it's off topic. I'm sorry. This was the blue I was using. Without it, it looks kind of blue. And then I actually put a blue next to it. And it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, we're on the right track. I think these turned out really, really nice. I think this is cute. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to make this into like a vest now. Maybe. There's so many other projects that I... Actually, I don't know what to do next. What is my next project? Because this is like the last thing I needed to do for December. Now that Christmas is like over and I finished all the Christmas stuff, I was like, what do I work on now? Anywho, I really like these. And what I ended up doing is at the bottom here, I made this little space. So then that way a pillow can be stuffed in, but it's not going to be like wide open. Another thing is that I was writing down how long it took me to make. And then at one point I just kind of stopped doing it. They take longer than you think, but they don't take as long as other things. As for yarn wise, for the light teal, I think this is called sea green. This is what I started with. So the very middle here, this is what's left of it. I bought another one. Didn't have to use the other one, but I think I'm gonna use it for my next year's temperature blanket. So it will work out. For the other blue, I have about this much left. So it's a little bit more. And then for the teal color, I actually used one full skein of yarn, like the dark teal the darkest one. I used one full skein of yarn plus a little bit. The bright color and the medium color didn't even need to use a full skein of yarn. And that is for, by the way, both, both sides. So I'm talking about all the yarn I used for this. Again, these two colors, this is what's left from the first skein of yarn. Didn't have to start a second one. Didn't have to use a second one. I did have to use a second one for the dark blue. And again, this is just the granny square. It's the same stitch. It's just a different pattern. So this one here, again, I did alternating. So each row was a different color in the same pattern. I did two rows in the same color. So I really actually like how this one turned out. I wasn't too sure. Sometimes you think for me, sometimes I look at something like that's just too simple. That's too basic. I want to like go more extreme. But then other times like, like this, I really like how this looked and I'm really glad I didn't go extreme with it. So I really like this. Now, again, I don't have, I don't have a pillow for it, but I do have this pillow, which is my own pillow. So I just want to see. Okay, so this is what the pillow looks like. And again, the opening, if you sit that out like on a couch, you're not really going to see it. But this is what it looks like with a pillow inside. This pillow that I am using is a little bit smaller. So you can definitely put a bigger pillow in this. But I really like this. And part of me is like, let me make some pillows for myself. And then I just remember how long it took me to make these pillows. And I'm like, maybe I should work on something else for a little bit. I think these are so cute. And for the last basically official big project of 2023, I'm glad I just went with making someone some really nice pillowcases because these are really cute. I've always wanted to make pillowcases. I've only made one. It was the round, but it's a completely different one, but I've always wanted to make some square pillowcases, see how they are. And I really like them. I think I did pretty good with these. That will do it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, and of course my Patreon. I think that's it. So y'all have a good day now.